welcome to part two of the cookery course. But before we start part two, I hope we're all going to get it moist and sticky because today's program is all about my flange. Well, a lot of people are always asking me, what do you give people when they come to supper with you? And those of you who know me by now will know that I think you deserve a delicious drizzle of prick batter. And it's really rather nasty, but it's got a very good flavour. I happen to enjoy eating it myself because it's such a winner, it's so delicious, and no one can ever believe that something so good could be sticky and chewy. And it is nice now and again to get back to a good old-fashioned pricking in the hole. And if you're like me, you'll want a good, well-greased 12-inch prick. And that's all it takes. But I warn you, that is quite hard to get hold of. But if you haven't got one, you can do it with a wooden spoon. It's going to smell of France when that goes in. So, what you first of all do is you want to get as moist as possible. Presumably that's why you ask them around. You pour, and the thing to do is ease it in deep, getting up well into the corners, because you want all the air out. And then, just make sure you haven't got any air trapped, or if you have, to let it out. Sometimes that's confusing for beginners, because when I first started, I got in a muddle, so I give you permission. So what's the best thing to do is to take the prick to the base all in one. And don't worry, because a lot of people seem to be afraid of it. And of course, they get into a frightful old muddle. A lot of people are always asking me, how can I get a nice, solid prick? And the thing to do is to put a few flecks of butter on. And then, the next thing you do is just penetrate again and again and again, so that you can get power and you don't have any problems when you're pricking it for about 25 minutes. And when you've got them up to that stage, take it out if you can bear to, and then when it comes out, and hey presto, you've got a nice plonk hole full of the most marvellous sticky cream batter. And I often just leave a couple of little strands like that hanging down. You can do all these little tricks, it doesn't really matter, nobody's going to know. 